hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to be talking about how to retouch your image to make the picture look beautiful using both frequency separation and dodge and bone so we are going to be editing this image and the first thing we want to do is to remove the blemishes from the skin so to remove the blemishes, you can use your patch tool. So once you click on the patch tool, just draw around the blemishes and drag it to the good part. So you can also use your spot healing brush tool. This your tool, which is the spot healing brush tool. Once you click on it, increase the size and just start painting around the blemishes. We are removing the blemishes from the skin and you should be careful so you don't make mistake. And once you are done with the forehead section, you can go to the body also. So let's paint around this area to remove the pimples. You can see what I'm doing. I'm using my spot sealing brush tool to adjust the skin to make the skin look better. So you don't need to use your spot sealing brush tool for all the parts of the skin because we'll be doing our frequency separation. So for this area, I will just click on my patch tool and draw around this section and drag it. You can see the result. I'll just draw around this area and drag it down and I'll draw around this area and drag it up and our image is now looking better so the next thing you have to do now is to start your frequency separation process you already know how to do your frequency separation if you have been watching my previous video if you have dirty steel magic retouching pack just click on dirty actions you will see frequency separation so you can click the link in the description of this video to get my retouching pack and once you get my retouching pack you'll be able to get all the list of my actions and you'll be able to edit your picture just like me without wasting time to start the frequency separation process all you have to do is to press ctrl g and press ctrl g again so we have to create two new layers so once we have created these two new layers just double click on this and change the name to high frequency details once you have changed it to high frequency details just hit enter on your keyboard and go to the next layer the layer below and change it to low frequency color and once you have changed it to low frequency color just hit enter now go to your high frequency details layer and turn it off once you turn it off go to your low frequency color layer click on filter once you click on filter go to blur gaussian blur now for the gaussian blur you select five for the gaussian blur and once you are done click on the high frequency details and turn it on so once you have turned it on go to image and look for apply image so once you click on apply image you will see this my settings for the layer select low frequency color for the layer for the blending mode look for subtract and for the scale to offset one to eight so once you're done just click on ok the next thing you have to do is to go to this area to change the blending mode option and look for linear light so once you just select linear light then you click on this low frequency color area remember you have to click on the high frequency details and change the blending mode option to linear light then you click on the low frequency color right click on it and convert to smart object so once you have selected convert to smart object go to filter then you select blur select gaussian blur now for the gaussian blur radius we'll be increasing the gaussian blur radius to let's say 48 for the gaussian blur radius or let's say 37 once you are done just click on ok then you click on this smart filter area and press ctrl i on your keyboard and we are done now you can select your brush to start smoothing the image as in to start fixing the skin but if this process is too long for you let's say this process is long for you let's just delete these two layers if it is long for you you can go to your actions windows actions and if you don't have this dirty studio magic action click the link in the description of this video to get it and you'll be able to buy it so once you have bought it and install you'll be able to get frequency separation action so once we just click on it you will see that all those long process will just automatically show in our photoshop without wasting time and once you are done just select your brush 
once you have selected your brush you can reduce the flow or you can increase it then i'll just start painting on the face so i will increase the size of my image and let's start painting on this area you can see what is happening to the image you can also reduce the flow once you reduce the flow you can just paint on this area also now if you make mistake you can change your foreground color to be black then you can be able to remove that mistake from the skin so i think we are almost done let's just reduce the radius again what i just did here is that i reduced the radius down because of it's giving me that black result on the skin so once i'm done with this section let's go to our forehead also and apply it on our forehead the result is looking better and you can also paint this area and also paint this area so we are done with the face and the next area we are going to be going to is the body since i'm done with the face you can see that the effect looks too smooth as in too soft on the face you can go to this gaussian blur reduce area to increase it and let's just increase it a little bit to 49 now i can't use this frequency separation on the skin because if i use it on the skin it will make the skin to look too soft let me show you what i'm doing so once i just increase this flow and i use this frequency separation on the skin you will see the result it looks blur we don't want the skin to look like this so i'll just merge all these layers together for the face i'll just merge it together and the next thing i will do is to reduce the opacity of this layer you can also increase the opacity if you like so for the opacity i'll just leave it to be 78 and i think i'm done with the face but don't worry we will come back to this face area to fix the face a little because of these edges look somehow we didn't apply it at the edges so let's just leave it to be around 82. so the reason i want to do this frequency separation again is because of this her body the frequency separation will not be good for the body so i have a specific settings a more better settings of frequency separation in my retouching pack so you can also watch my previous videos in order to get these settings as in to do it by yourself but because of time i will just click on this next frequency separation and let's just play it so once i just play it i will allow it to load and once it has load i will just click on the smart filter you can see it's the same kind of frequency separation that we did before so i'll just select my brush and start painting on this her body you can see the result is different from the last one this kind of frequency separation leave much details on the skin but the last one was very smooth and that last one is good for only face so for this one you can use it on the body you can see the results of the skin is now looking better so i'll just remove it from this area and you can see once i've removed it from this area now let's look at the before and the after for all what we have done on the skin this is the before and the after for the body as in not all what we have done just for the body so i can also use this frequency separation to adjust this face so i'll just paint on the face like this and i can also use it on the forehead also remember we have already done frequency separation on the face before as in we have done the skin smoothing process on the face before but don't worry about the details and don't worry about the highlights and shadows we will bring it back using our dodge and bone so i think we are done the next thing i want to do now is to merge all these layers together and once i'm done merging it together i want to focus on the face area now so the next thing i want to do now is to use my quick selection tool once i use the quick selection tool i'll just draw around this face area and zoom it in then i'll use my clone stamp tool to adjust these edges because these edges look white because of our frequency separation effect or the skin smoothing effect so i'll just increase this our clone stamp tool and click on this good part then i'll paint on the bad part you can see the result it has cloned this good part and replace the bad part so i'll just do it like this and also come to this area and paint like this and i think i'm done with that area now let's look at it before and after you can see that our image is now looking better 
Now the next tool we'll be using for this image is our dodge and burn. So to start the dodge and burn process, I will just go to my create new fill or adjustment layer area. Just click on it. Then I'll go to curves. So I will just create a new curves. Once I've created this new curves, I will just reduce it. And once I reduce it, I will rename it to burn. Remember, you have to click on it. Just double click on the name and rename it to burn. Once you are done, hit enter and go back to this layer also. Create new fear adjustments layer. Go to curves also. Then you increase it. Then you rename it to dodge. The reason I'm doing it like this is the more fastest way to create your dodge and burn effect. So just drag this dodge up. The next thing you have to do is to click on this dodge and press Ctrl I. Click on the burn and press Ctrl I and you are done. So once you are done creating this dodge and burn, you have to merge it as a group, as in you have to join it together as a group. So just left click on the dodge, hold Ctrl, left click on the burn. Then you press Ctrl G on your keyboard and you'll be able to group it. Now open the group, select your brush, make sure your flow is at 2 for the flow. Once you're done, click on the burn. Then once you click on the burn, you zoom in your image. Then you open your brush, reduce the size. Make sure the flow is at 2. Then you just paint on the dark side of the image. In order to burn the dark side of the image you can see i'm being very careful so i don't spoil the image once we are done you can see this dark side of the image also then you burn it remember you have to burn the dark side of the image and dodge the lighter part of the image you burn the dark part and dodge the lighter part so once we are done with the burn we have to go to this area and also burn it we can also Click on her lips. You can click on the lips and burn the lips also. So I'll just burn this part of her lips and also burn this area. Once I'm done with burning this area, I'll just zoom out the image and also burn this part of her body because we need to burn the dark part. So I'll just go to this area and burn it. Once I'm done, I'll also burn this area, which is the dark part. Then once we are done with the bone, you can reduce the opacity of the bone to be around 73 because we want to blend it. We don't want it to look too much on our image. Then you click on your dodge. Once you click on the dodge, just select your brush. Then you dodge the light areas of the image. You can see what I'm doing. Just dodge the light area of the image. Once you are done, you click on this area also and burn this part you don't need to dodge and burn everything so you don't spoil your image because too much of everything is not good so once we are done i'll just click on this dodge layer to reduce the opacity to be around 55 and i think our image now look perfect let's merge all these layers together and let's look at the before and the after but before then you have to press ctrl alt s on your keyboard and you have to save your file as photoshop document just in case your laptop turns off or in case your laptop have issues so now let's look at the before and the after for everything we have done on this image this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after and we are done with this tutorial thank you for watching if this video was very helpful to you subscribe for more videos Turn on notifications so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video and leave a like to help the channel out.